Kick off 2022 with a better check-in count with no monthly fees. Chime, an award-winning app, and debit card has no overdraft fees, foreign transaction fees, monthly fees, or service fees. With over 60,000 fee-free in-network ATMs at many locations like most Walgreens, 7-Eleven, CVSs, you can access your money whenever you need it where you need it. You can also send money to anyone, even if they aren't on Chime. Fee free for you. No cash out fees for them. Make your first good decision of the new year and join over 10 million people using Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at chime.com slash YKWD. That's chime.com slash YKWD. Banking services provided and debit card issued by the Bank Corp. Bank or Stride Bank NA. Members FDIC. Eligibility requires and overdraft limits apply. Overdraft only applies to debit card purchases and cash withdrawals. Limits start at $20 and may be increased up to 200 by Chime. See chime.com slash spot me. Yeah, you know what, dude? Listen, upgrade your daily routine with Bespoke Post. Their new seasonal lineup of must-have box of awesome collections. Bespoke Post partners with small businesses and emerging brands to bring you the most unique goods every month. Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code YKWD. What's going on? It's Robert Kelly here, and I want you to join my Patreon. I got this. Why is Andrew Schultz sitting like a lesbian? I got that. Take a look. <laughs> this too. Oh, what's in the box, dude? Oh, whoa. I've been waiting months for this. Come check this out. Oh, no. All right, we have a special guest coming in. Your background, what is that? Hold on a second, somebody's teasing me. Hold on a second, that's not my fault. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is on there. I think we definitely empowered trolls. Jeez. We gave trolls a template for how to nail each other. And this. Less titty challenge. Yeah. Oh, shit. Did you break your bed? It don't matter. I think that's it. Nope, you get this too. Dead, 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 dead. Uh, it's you. always been fun to be friends with you <laughs> doing stand up comedy all these years. So hit the button, click it, patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. You'll thank me later. Patreon.com or Robert Kelly. I talked to Uncle Judah Johnny Shack the other day. It's good for business. I want to tell you about a amazing company that me and my wife found. We've been going to New Hampshire for the last 30 years uh, vacationing, and we love it up there. We've been renting, and we've been a guest, and we've always wanted to own, but we couldn't afford it. It was just out of our reach until we found Tiny Homes of Maine. Uh, this company is amazing. It's a husband and wife. It's a family-owned business, and they make the most amazing tiny homes on the market. They're built to withstand Maine winters. And they look amazing. They're fully customizable. And uh, they have three different sizes. You should check them out. If you're thinking about, you know, having a second home or maybe downsizing or, you know, just having uh, an office, go tiny. And go to Tiny Homes of Maine. The company is amazing. And uh, they help you every single step of the way. From finding the right one for you from making it from the, the ground up and to finding about the laws in your area and financing, you couldn't go with a more amazing company and a more amazing family than Tiny Homes of Maine. Yeah, baby. We're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude? Live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKWD. I started a social media and podcast. <laughs> the fact. The YKWD podcast. YKWD is back again. Old school, back in the day, where it all started. Before them all, YKWD. YKWD. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up. You're ruining this. Where's the bandana, man? Sorry, it's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original.
You know what, dude? You are fat. You are. And so am I. <laughs> We're all fat. We're just a bunch of fat people. Welcome to the You Know What, Dude podcast. One of the longest running podcasts in the history of podcasting. I was there in the beginning. I'll be there at the end when all these losers stop doing theirs because they're so famous. Um, and I'll still be where I'm at. Hey, listen, all you dudes and dudettes that came and saw me in Poughkeepsie. Thank you very much. I had a blast. Uh, the place packed out. Uh, laugh it up in Poughkeepsie. I mean, I love it when clubs listen to comics. I love when club owners care about the show, but also care about the comedians that are doing the show. Okay. A lot of club owners don't give a shit. They care about bottom line. How much booze do we sell? How many fucking chicken wings? They don't give a shit about the sound or a monitor on stage or any of that shit. There's very few clubs that give a fuck about the actual show itself, knowing that that's why people are coming. You can give them uh, fucking sunflower seeds and water. As long as the show's great and they have a good experience and they laugh, they'll come back. They don't give a shit. But they want to make it into a fucking Applebee's and a restaurant and make a bunch of money on some drink uh, named after a comic that's never worked their fucking club. <laughs> right? And now, uh, but some clubs give a shit. And this, uh, yeah, Poughkeepsie. Yeah, it's not the best place in the world. I'll admit that. I wouldn't fucking go there in the daytime or nighttime. I go to this club. I park in the parking lot and I run to the club. It's a dangerous city. Hi. <laughs> And I love that they're, they're coming back. That's what they always say that about cities. Uh, it's on its way. It's coming back. Did you hear about Poughkeepsie? Poughkeepsie's not coming back. It's it's just not. It's just not. I'm sorry. Was it there before? It was. Poughkeepsie back in the day, Mike. Poughkeepsie was the place to be. New Rochelle, Yonkers, all these places. I mean, look at New Rochelle. Fucking Dick Van Dyke and his wife live there. Remember on the show? Oh, well, that's right. Yeah, they lived there. It was a nice little town. Now it's garbage. <laughs> uh, Poughkeepsie's one of the crazy ass place. But you know what? It's got some cool places. And this Mahoney's, I tell you, I first played there. The guys that run it, great guys. They really tried. They really, they're just trying to uh, do the best show they could do. They love stand up so much. Uh, they love comics. Uh, so. They, you know, when I, I mean, look, I, first time I went up there, it was kind of weird. It's in this place. The sound sucked. The stage was weird. Uh, there was a fucking Tupperware bucket they used from Bed Bath & Beyond as a stool, a stair to get onto the stage. Um, <laughs> but, you know, they had a hallway was the green room. But I tell you what, they've. I went up there this time. The, the, they, the sound system was amazing. They had monitors on the stage. The mic sounded hot and poppy and great. Um, the stage was great. The crowd, the people fucking packed it out. They're learning how to just, hey, spread the word, get people up there, uh, packed it out. Awesome shows, awesome crowds, tons of parking. Food was great. They still had that fucking Tupperware stare that I stepped. I, ugh. Every, I mean, I'm going to buy, I'm buying them a stair. I'm going to buy, I'm going to Amazon. Mike, look up stairs in Amazon, wooden steps. I need a two stepper. I'm buying it for them and I'm sending it to them. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I want them to put my name on it. Um, But yeah, it was a great fucking club, great room. And I love when I just like it when clubs listen. Uh, uh We have a very special guest coming in right now. Uh, uh, we haven't done a show together since the incident. And if you don't know what the incident is, uh, <laughs> well, then you don't listen to my podcast. The, the, uh, it was the incident of time. The, the incident of all time. Uh, the watch incident. So please, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. And of course, the legend himself, Rich Voss. Keep it going. Rich Voss with his... Oh, atrocious family photo behind him. <laughs> why? Why would you take a family photo like that? Well, that, that was years ago. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. The frame, everything. 
why, why, why do you like gold ornate frames, Voss? My, she told me to get a gold frame for it. And, you know, it was when you bought a car at some like place in our town that takes a picture of you and then paints over it. You know, I don't, can I paint over that? <laughs> so, <laughs> I think the whole thing looks good. Yeah, it looks good if you were a different family. If I didn't know you and Bonnie and Raina, it would be a good picture. I you would look, look like a normal you're family. You're not even looking at it close enough. What is that? I can't see. What is it? Zoom in, Mush. I see. What? What's wrong? What is it? Who is it? It's Bonnie, Raina, and you. Yeah. Okay. That's it? Are you wearing my watch? No. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't wear it. <laughs> God damn it. What? God damn it. What am I looking for? I don't have time for riddles. Uh, what? Okay. what is it? I see it. What? What? Does she have a penis? Her tits are out? What? Now look at the picture. Look of the frame. The frame? Ah! What? what? <laughs> I thought I was. I thought I was over it. I thought I was. Dude, I <laughs> Time thought, does not heal all wounds. Dude, That's how the picture. That's how the picture came to me. Oh, how did you know what? How did that get up there? I, you know, even though I like, I don't wear it, but I like to try, you know, just bring it around the house to look at and stuff. Where's Bobby? Uh, he, I don't think he can take this right now. <laughs> what? What's wrong with him? What's wrong with me? You took my dream. I didn't take your dream. <laughs> you took my. Let me see it. No, ah, it's Let just a little it. so silly. It's not oh, it's boss. just a little dumb watch. Boss, just let me give you, I'll give you 16 for it. First of all, I can't listen to me. Let me just have it. it. You're gonna die in years, and you'll die knowing that you made your friend Bobby happy. You don't Here's need it. that. You don't need it. Look at all the fucking shit you got. Listen to me. My wife is a stay-at-home mom. You have a ch you, your wife has hopes and dreams that are coming true. Listen. Yeah, no, they're not. I'm still living here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's move on and discuss what, uh, what's going on. What's you going know, on? Huh? What's going on? What's going on? Well, on my corner in my town, there was a, a big protest. They're all holding up Ukrainian flags and the Ukrainian colors. And I, you know, okay, no, here's the, which obviously you yeah. are people not aware of what's going on in this country. Like, I don't get, I mean, it's to show support. I don't get, sometimes I don't get protests. Why? You, you, you put a BML fucking flag on your bushes. Yeah, that was just to protect my house. I uh, <laughs> I just I, if you look closely, I had my website on the bottom of that. Uh, so, rich Voss Voss Rose dot com. So, yeah, I obviously I don't know what like there was an incident at the mall. First of all, cops. I'm pro cop, but they have to be now. I'll tell you the short, 25 years and older to me. Because if you're under 25, you're just stupid. So it was at my mall at Bridgewater Mall. And you can find it online, see the clip. Matter of fact, maybe Mike will look it up. These two kids were in a fight in the mall. Okay. A white kid and a, and a skinny black kid. They were like teenagers, high school, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So they were in a fight. Cops come, break it up. They sit the white kid down on the couch. Right. And they put the black kid down and handcuff him behind his back. I'm going, I go, what's going on in their head? First of all, neither of them were a threat, especially the black kid. He was very skinny. I go, 
why would you sit the white kid down comfortably on a couch and then handcuff the little black kid? Uh, now, you know, everybody's filming this. At the whole yeah, world. 19 jokes just came into my head. That What's I, that? 19 jokes just came into my head that I held <laughs> back on. Because I, I got to remember that we're not on a tough crowd anymore. <laughs> yeah. No. I, no how, I look, what, what, what were the cops? Were they young? Uh, yeah, probably. Go to have Mike bring up the clip. Bridgewater. He, said that to my, he should be looking for it right now. What's the name of the town? Uh, I'm looking for it right now. There's just a bunch of ads in front of the clips right now. So I'm going through the ads. And, um, and so they, I'm driving past. The, but the do you know the whole story? Did I'm not saying. Look, it, that's terrible. Terrible optics, and that's ta you know that's fucked up. They what should do optics. What do what do telephone wires and optics have to do with it? I, what do you? I, I you shouldn't. God shouldn't have gave you that watch. You're too <laughs> stupid to have that watch. <laughs> There is no God. I believe in no God because of you, Rich. There is no God. The fact that you have 17 rings on a Rolex and then my dream Rolex and then a diamond star of David, I hate you. I hope I hope the next flight you get on, as it's taking off, it fucking catches on fire. What about all the other people on the flight? <laughs> I don't I want them dead too. Because <laughs> I, I'll sacrifice them. I don't. I, that's I, that's crazy. I don't. You, uh, Jesus. <laughs> what? It's my Jesus cup. <laughs> you're a fucking. You're an. I swear to God, you're an alien. You're not a human. You would. You were like a dumb alien. They just wanted off their ship. <laughs> they, <laughs> they dropped you here. <laughs> and they gave you human te human teeth. Were, yeah. uh, your old teeth were for your planet to eat the type of foods you could eat. <laughs> you, you were rock eating people. <laughs> what would he do? Uh, what would he do? He'd give me the watch. He'd give me the watch. He'd sell it. You know it. You know that's impossible. You know Rolexes trace and track they, every they Rolex. Don't care. They don't care. What's that? They don't. I already looked into it. They don't care. Yeah, they do. And my, my jeweler would care. He would never sell anything. Let's call him you. right now. What? Let's call him. Yeah, Sunday night, they're open. All right, let me ask you a question. What? If we could get Norton and Keith and a couple people on my podcast and we could come in and have comedy court and they decide whether you give me that watch or I have to give you something in return. What, do you think? Sell I'm me the watch. Sell me the watch. Do you really think? I mean, we'll do it as, as just out of principle. But do you think I'm going to let a major decision like that on on those two uh, fucking jamokes? You know, uh, you know, it, it's it would be. Let's move on because you you fucking <laughs> what? Listen, <laughs> you really know how to just ruin the bit. No, I want to do it. You do it as a joke, but I'm really not doing it. Yeah, don't fucking tell them that. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Tell them. Uh, so anyhow, so my, my my point about optics. Yeah, it's did that kid did the all right. Listen, did the black kid just slap his fucking mother in the face? Did something happen? I'm look. I don't know what happened. I'm telling you what happened. A black kid in the white. The black you know, kid in the white. We're having a fight. Hey, but what were they fighting over? Was the what what, what was what was the backstory? Look at I, I think it's terrible to put a kid on the ground, especially a little skinny kid. Briefly profiled Look. and brutalized by a pair of police officers, as seen in this video taken inside Bridgewater Commons. They're Mall. both on the ground, right? Oh, no, oh, wait, wait, come back. Back. the black kids on the ground, the white kids sitting on the couch. All right, well, that looks terrible. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Yeah, but the white kid's not fighting. Neither was all the. If a cop threw you on the ground, and the white, they said, "Hey, you sit down." And he was like, "Okay," and he sat down. No, th there's no. no mush. I, of course, I'm kidding. Oh. This looks terrible. But see, here's what I don't understand. Let me see. Let me see. Go back a little bit more. To go from the beginning, see the fight. Watch him. Fight. Yeah, let's watch the fight, Mush. It's not even a good fight. I mean. Uh all the new, like, they're all the videos are of the news. Um, 
All right, so just go play it a little bit. Kai, an eighth grader, they say, was racially profiled and brutalized. He just threw a, a he just threw a punch at the cop, right? He just no, he threw a punch at the kid, but he was still fighting when they were so separating. Which was probably why he. Yeah, look, dude. On camera brawl stop. The teens. Stop. If if you if me and you were fighting in the mall, play that right there. Let me see that. That ended with police officers. Oh, this kid was getting the best of him too. Oh. To the crowd black what led up to it. He was defending someone even smaller and younger than him. Mm. A seventh grader. Okay, okay see that? They threw him on the couch. Yeah, yeah, no, that's because here here's the problem. They came in and they saw that kid just kicking ass. So that that kid was throwing punches. The other kid, he kind of got he he just kind of stopped. Well, no, the white kid was on top of him though. Yeah, but they grabbed him, threw him over. No, nah, it's terrible. They shouldn't have done that. But the black kid should have just chilled a little bit, don't you think? I he's a kid. You know, they're they're hyped up in a fight. You don't be in a fight and then just oh, calmly chill. You're, it's a, you're, I mean, what do you do? What do you do? It's a hard thing for a cop to do, man. Well, I mean, the how do you restrain somebody by the color of their skin? No, 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 no. I here's how I look at it. I just, I mean, you know what I mean. If you're gonna restrain one, you restrain both of them. Yeah, but the other kid, if you look at the video, he stopped fighting. Yeah, because they go sit over here. <laughs> yeah, and he did it. They said sit down here, and if you're hungry, order some food. If you listen close, and, and they gave him a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> and then they gave him a PBA card. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay, but what I don't understand. What mush? Well, you can just look at the way the the the, the officer handles it differently. The two different officers handle it two different ways. So here's the officer grabbing the white kid. Okay, yeah, play play it slow. And then she Grab places him down. Throws him down. As seen in this video taken inside Bridgewater right. Commons Mall. So it's two different officers reacting two different ways. You have to see the whole video, dude. Can you get the whole video without the news? The interrupting? video was them fighting. Listen, dude, that's not the whole. You have to watch the video from the fight to the cops coming in without the news. You understand the news is giving you narrative, cutting it up. They're showing the, the cop came in, grabbed that white kid, threw him down on the couch. He just sat there. Then the other kid was fighting, riled up, crazy. I get it. He's, you know, he's not, he's probably not a, a bad kid. He's probably defending the kid. But it's like, dude, you got to chill out once the yeah, cops, they didn't give him cops in they my didn't give, in my eyes. Once the cops come, it's yeah. over. Yeah, but they didn't, give, they didn't give the black kid the option to sit on the couch. It was they a different cop too. Yeah, right? I mean, look, it's a hard thing, man, to be a cop. Oh yeah, that's why I said they got to be over twenty five. It's it's scary to right now. You got a, a a a white kid and a black kid fighting. That's terrifying. You know, especially if you're a white cop, it's like fuck. But they should be able to. I mean, what do you? I don't know. What do you do, man? It's like that. Remember that that black chick with the knife was stabbing the other chick, and they shot her. I yeah. I don't know, but no, I don't remember it. Yeah, it's like, and they got into trouble for shooting the black chick. It was like you know, cops against you know black violence. Uh, cops against uh, you know what I don't know, whatever you fucking say. It does suck. It sucks to be a black, a young black man in America because you can't even get into a little brawl like that without fucking having the world come down on you. And, you know, everybody's going to take the other person's side, right? It sucks. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, those parents are going to sue them all or the cops. And they should sue them all and they should go to the cops and the cops. You know, you, you got to figure out a way to deal with that. When you walk into a situation like that, you should break it up and use your, use your words as much as you can. But cops are human beings, man. And when, a, when somebody's throwing punches, when somebody's being violent, your instinct, there's two ways to handle it. You can either try to de-escalate, right? Or you have to go over the top. There's no middle ground. Yeah. And right. you, when you, like when I worked at the juvenile hall, they told me, don't be nice. Be as mean as you, be mean. Be fucking mean. When you get, don't say hi. Don't fucking do things for these kids. 
but I was one of these kids. I know, but it's easier to lighten up than it is to harden up. They won't, re you will not, re if you come in, hey, oh, and then you have to get tough with them, they'll tell you to go fuck yourself. But if you're an asshole and then you treat them nice a little bit, then they'll, re they'll be cool with that. They'll like that. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. what are you supposed to do? I Listen, I get it. I just. What would you have done if you were that cop and you came in, I grabbed the white kid, threw him on the couch, and he was like, yes, sir, I'm sorry, sir, whatever you want, sir. And the other, and you grabbed the black kid, and he was still going nuts trying to fight. What would you do? I, I well, I don't know because I'm not a cop. Well, uh, I'm asking you if you were. If I was a cop, I would. Well, I would. Okay, a good anything, a good, a great comic yeah. sees everything that's going around. Yeah. Okay, you see what's happening around. You have, you see that everything. So a good cop can see the whole situation, what's happening with the white kid and yeah. what's happening. You should be focusing on the whole, you know, because if you're a cop, you can't, you don't know, you got to know if someone's sneaking up behind you. You got to know, you just got to know what's going on. You so gotta, you got to stop the situation. You have to stop somebody yeah. from being violent. And if you, I'm getting that kid, you're getting that kid, take the color, take the race out of it. There's two kids. Just take it out of it for a second. Just say there's two kids fighting in a mall. Yeah. There are two white kids fighting in the mall. I don't if they're kids, I if they're kids without weapons, I maybe I don't I don't know if they have to be handcuffed. If they're kids without weapons. If you're yeah, not okay. setting them the fuck down and you I mean, we don't even know fuck you, you fucking pig, fucking cop. We don't even know what was being said. So yeah, I think cops It's a tough gig. It's a tough gig, man, because and not, not the most um, secure people get that gig. Alpha no. males get that gig that want to get that are oh, that can deal with that stress of getting into a fight with a fucking kid or a man or getting shot at. That that's a certain type of man that has to take that to be able to be okay with that. I couldn't do it. I couldn't I do it every day, nice. not knowing if I pull somebody over, they're gonna fucking shoot me or stab me, or if I go to break up a fight in a mall, I you know, and I'm gonna get stabbed or fucking pushed off, or a bunch of kids are gonna beat the shit out. I don't know if someone's gonna grab my gun. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I, I, I mean, it sucks. The optics. I mean, optics is me. I mean, when I say that, it means viewing it. You know, your 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 look, the way it looks. That's what I mean. Optics. Not, oh, yeah. I mean, not, not, listen, not fiber the optics. <laughs> the, the I think the, uh, the male cop there is upset because the lady cop didn't handcuff the white guy. Was it like a that, lady cop? The yeah. The one who sat him down was a, was a woman. Yeah. I, that's what we should do. We should make it all women cops. <laughs> Just make all cops women. <laughs> Yeah, my I, son, make, I, make them and, and make make cops minorities. Bring more minorities in. Let let black black men and, and and brown men be give you know. Let you should bring them in and let them. Well, let I'm them, sure they are. I'm sure they are. You know, I mean, I'm sure they're applying, and the ones that are applying that pass the test, I'm sure they're letting them become cops. I'm saying, saying that, it, you know, maybe more women should be involved in that situation because maybe they would have handled it differently. Guys handle fights. Fucking fuck you. You must, you know, that as you get into that. That's a hard thing not to do when there's, you know, you're trying to, you know, this kid's beating the shit out of another kid. It, it just sucks. What if it was two white kids? You wouldn't even have this fucking, we wouldn't even be talking about it. Well, if it was two white kids and the one who got thrown to the ground handcuffed, the family would still go after them all. And this probably. family could, should do that too. You know, especially if this young kid was trying to defend a younger kid from this fucking piece of shit. I don't like, I don't like making judgment calls on these things. I don't know what, why they were fighting. What if that kid caught him fucking molesting his brother? What if, well, what if, what if he just, you know, did something to his mom? What if, I don't know. What if, you know, what if that white kid's a big piece of shit bully you know, that was, you know, let him go. Let him, I would help him beat the shit out of him. You don't know the backstory of these things, but 
you know, it's a hard job being a cop, man. You know, and the, and, the, and these people are like, defund the fucking police. That's ridiculous. That's well, ridiculous. The, the New York City is a fucking shithole now. And anybody that says New York City is not fucking dangerous, and there's, I, I love these people too. And there's a bunch of comics that do this shit. New what? York's fine. New York's fine. It's horrible. People that say New York is fine. A lot of them are entitled cocksucking rich people that don't have to deal with the subways and don't have to deal with late night fucking waiting on the corner to get an Uber or walking home. They don't have to deal with that shit. A lot of these people have security guards, too, who say New York's going to go fuck yourself. New York City is a shithole right now. You see a the guy? shithole. And it's because and I remember comics sending me, uh, you got to sign this. What is it? Defund the police. Go fuck yourself. I okay. told them to go fuck themselves because I'm not defunding the police. Yes, it's flawed. Yes, cops make mistakes. Yes, cops have fucked up shit. But they also make it so that we can walk around and enjoy our lives and not have to have worry about my wife getting fucking raped or my kid getting punched in the face or me getting pushed in front of a train or stabbed. Go fuck yourselves. There, there was a... Uh this guy anti-Semitic incident threw shit on some person on the subway and did they let him out, did it again. They let him right out. You know, they're not even keeping him in. These no, crazy motherfuckers. No bail in New York because they passed the law. There's no bail. So back in the day when Giuliani was there in Bloomberg, you got arrested. You had to make bail. And if you couldn't make bail, you know where you went? Rikers. You went to the tombs. You went to the fucking psych ward. You went to Bellevue. Yep. Now, there's no bail. So you spend uh, 24 hours in jail, and then you're out the next day, and then you get a court date. And yeah, they're going to fucking show up for that fucking date. Go fuck it's, yourself. It's crazy how... It, I don't even want to go to New York ever. Dude, it's not just New York, though. It's it's California. It's San Francisco. It's Portland. Seattle. It's fucking uh, it's Minneapolis. Uh, Minneapolis. Dude, it's all these cities. You know where it's not? Tampa. Uh, Tampa. <laughs> Florida. Hey, upgrade your daily routine with Bespoke Post and their new seasonal lineup of must-have box of awesome collections. Bespoke Post partners with small businesses and emerging brands to bring you the most unique goods every month. I just got this amazing, uh, I don't know, it's a knife, it's a its a trowel, it's a, a wire cutter, it's a saw. It's, it's perfect for me when I go camping. I can just leave this in my truck. Uh, it came... Uh, it came to me. I was so excited to get it, but it does everything. So when I go camping, I got to dig, you know, I look, I got to go poop in the woods. You need a trowel. I got to have that. I got to have a saw. I got to have uh, a, a knife kind of thing. I got to, I got to have an, I, no, not with this thing. I got this, this knife. It's a, it's all in one. It's a hammer. You can actually hammer the, uh, with the end of it. I was so excited to get this because I, I've never seen it anywhere, but on bespoke post, they had it. They sent it to me. Also, I got hot sauces because I've always wanted to do the uh, that hot show at my house. So we got a, a whole case of, of of hot sauces, scorch hot sauces of they're all brands from all over the country, uh, Texas, Nevada, California, and I'm going to do a wing night with all my friends and do the hot. What's that show called, Mush? The hot wings. Hot I'm ones. A, hot ones. I'm doing that at my house. I got it from Bespoke. It came to me, shipped right to my house. I was so excited to get it. To get started, all you have to do is take a quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you. Listen, man, this is the greatest company ever. I love getting boxes. I love getting stuff sent to me that I would have never got uh, on my own. You know, because you just can't find this stuff. You have They have it all on one site. You answer these questions, then they send you these boxes. You open them up. It's free to sign up. You can skip a month or cancel at any time. Each box is valued around $70, but you only pay a fraction of that. Plus, with each box of awesome, you're supporting small businesses. 90% of everything that comes in your box of awesome is from a small and up 
upcoming brand. So you got to, this is what we need, America. Help these small businesses get back on their feet. You get cool stuff. I'm telling you, Bespoke Post is, is an amazing company, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code YKWD at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code YKWD, 20% off your first box, boxofawesome.com, code YKWD. It's a new year, which means it's time to leave behind the things that don't serve you, like overdraft fees. Who wants to pay that? Who wants to pay money that you shouldn't? When your checking account balance is running low, the last thing you need is an overdraft fee. But with Chime, an award-winning app, and debit card, you can save the hard-earned money without paying overdraft fees. Eligible members can overdraft up to 200 bucks and debit card purchases and cash withdrawals with absolutely no overdraft fees. None. Make your first good decision in 2022 and join over 10 million people using Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash YKWD. That's Chime.com slash YKWD. Banking services provided and debit card issued by the Bank Corp. Bank or Stride Bank NA members FDIC. Eligibility requires and overdraft limits apply. Overdraft only applies to debit card purchases and cash withdrawals. Limits start at $20 and may be increased up to $200 by Chime. See Chime.com slash Spotney. Florida. You know well, we don't have to worry about somebody blocking the highway in, in a protest? Florida. You know why? Because they have to carry guns. No, the governor said you can you can run them over. It, it's not against the law. You won't really? be charged. Yeah, because they're fucking... You, you're not supposed to walk on a highway and block traffic. That's against the law. You're supposed to use crosswalks. <laughs> you're supposed to wait for the light and use a crosswalk. And and there was a ticket called jaywalking. I got a jaywalking ticket in LA once for yeah, crosswalks. Yeah, they do that here. Not in a, and, and, but if you're protesting something, hey, go fight, fuck yourself. You can block whatever you want for as long as you want. Fuck you. Fuck no, that. Okay. It's crazy to cut defunding the cops. It's it it's like saying don't lock your doors. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yes. I. I and people see it's not. It's not either or. Too. It's not like you either defund them or you don't. And you're a piece of yeah. shit racist. You're an idiot. You're just an asshole. I like these people. Well, the homeless people. What was it? Ranan. We were in. Uh, I don't know what town. South Dakota somewhere. And it said on the wall at the restaurant. Please do not give homeless people anything. Don't give them anything. If you're going to give money, donate to these homeless shelters. They gave the names in the town. Because, and I was like, that's smart. That's great. Because now I can help these homeless people. I can give it to the shelter and they'll give beds and food for these people to go to. So they'll get the fuck off the street, maybe get a job, maybe get recovery, right? And he was like, "Oh, that's pretty harsh." Who said a comic said it? Yeah, Ronan. He was like, "Well, that's harsh. I think that's 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 just stupid." Wait, who said it? Ron? Who? Ronan. I'm talking Ron. to you. It sucks because you can't hear. No, Ronan. Who the fuck? Yeah. What is that? Sounds like a fucking. A you don't know who Ronan is? No, it sounds like a cleaning. Has the show with uh, Joe? He tours with Louis a little bit. He's a funny guy. He's a really funny comic. All right, go he's ahead. A good guy. He's actually a good guy, but he's he's very liberal. He's very left, and he he just is like, well, I don't think that's you. Should, you know, it's like, dude, you don't understand. You're 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 enabling the homeless people by giving them money, and homeless people make a lot of money. You know, all you have to do is ask fifty people, a hundred people for a dollar, and there he is. Yeah, very funny guy. Oh, I've seen him around. All right. <laughs> so that means you don't like him. I go back. I, I just hate that his headshot. Go back. It has some dude with his backpack on behind him. Yeah, I know it's ridiculous. What is he? A man of the streets? Uh, no, he's not a man of the streets. <laughs> That's while well, he's out in, in the street taking his headshot. Now he's so funny, man. Ron, I, I like Ronan. He's a good guy and he's funny, but just I, I don't agree with him on certain things. And Hertzberg, is he a Jew? He's one of my people. He's a Jew. Of course he's a Jew. Look at him. He looks like oh, a rabbi. 
<laughs> yeah, that, he, he looks like he lives. He fucking lives in Williamsburg. Yes. No one says. No one that has a family or a house or a car or a wife says defund the police. <laughs> defund yeah. the police. Yeah, it's, I don't. I don't get it's that. Single guys. It's single guys in their thirties that are fucking white. That's you know. Shut up. You need police. You need firemen. You need fucking. You just you need civil servants. You need you need cops because that's our protection against each other. You know you need that. And and, and New York City was an awesome safe place when cops were everywhere and they could do their job. Did they? And here's the thing. I don't even think cops. I don't even know what the fuck happened in New York. Like they just turned on the cops in New York. And it happened in fucking Minneapolis or wherever the fuck it happened. And they just turned on him. And now I know a lot of cops and they're like, yeah, I'm doing my 20. I'm out. I'm fucking yeah. out. Because, and they, and call like that. All right. There's a fight at the mall. And then you show up. It's a white kid and a black kid. Oh, uh, fuck me. This guy's job's on the line now. Now everybody's going to be attacking him. They're probably, I guarantee they're probably going to fucking dox them. Dox him. He's, they're going to find out where he lives. His family's going to be in danger now, all because of what he went and, and he fucked up. He 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 put a kid on the ground and handcuffed him, and be, you know, and it's like shit, dude. You know, so do they have? I they have to learn to do something different, maybe. But their lives are in. And you don't know what the fuck the kid's going to do. I listen. I agree. It's a tough job. It's crazy. You're going to work every day thinking I could get killed today. You know, yes, I could get killed today. I could get shot. I could get run over. You and can't. that probably putting the kid on the couch. He could have. He could have done something. Yes. Yeah. So you know, I mean, if you want to go through it, maybe, but you should have just handcuffed both of them. Yes. And put them both on the couch. I mean, how about back in the day? You just say, "Hey, uh, you guys, take this shit outside," <laughs> and let them finish that shit outside. <laughs> when I was a kid, that's what they would do. The cops didn't stop for if we were fighting. The cops would just roll by, take that out of the park, go over on the other side. Yeah, yeah. But here's here's the full one minute. Oh, good. Let's watch this. Let's let's see us eye this. Ready? <laughs> Yeah, that. Let's pause it for a second. Um, stop it right there. Anyways, first of all, that kid, that big white kid, I don't know what the fuck happened, but he he, you know, dude, he he. he, he Sticking your finger in somebody's face like that. That's trying, aggressive. Yeah, it's alpha male in them. You, you, you're aggressive. You, you're saying this is, we're going to well, fight. You know, well, you feel threatened. threatened. If somebody did that to me. Yeah. You'd fucking hit them with my watch. No, <laughs> no, because I wouldn't be wearing it. It's on display in my I house. I believe you don't wear the watch. I'm That's wearing it tomorrow. I'm wearing it to a, to a very important meeting tomorrow. Good. And I hope you get robbed on the way into the meeting. <laughs> I hope they catch the guy and throw him on the ground and handcuff him. I hope I hope they rob you on the way in the minute. And then he contacts me on instant messenger. I will give you the money you can't get from anybody else. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Whoa. Right. No, Brian, get out, Brian, Brian, Brian. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's grabbing him? Cops. All right, so the cops <laughs> grabs him. Okay. Yep. Now do they but do they go and do they go and get the other kid? No. Look at him uh, sitting there. Let him play. Let him play. Oh, you're gonna stop for a second. Oh no. Oh, what the fuck's he doing? And now he's up. Yeah. All right. All right, I changed my whole opinion. These cops are racist cocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, the kid just gets up kind of aggressively too, and they're just like, all right. <laughs> this fucking these cops are, are fucking play it. I mean, tell me they handcuffed this kid or something. Wait. What are they doing with him? What is they doing with him? Nothing. 
they should handcuff. Yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. Now yeah. that you st- now uh, see now you see the whole thing and you can make an actual judgment call. That's yeah. stupid. They're stupid. They're fucking. They should have. They should. They, if they're gonna hand, they should have immediately went over to that fucking kid, turn around, handcuffed him. Problem solved. Yeah, but he he jumped up too. Like he could have pulled out a weapon. That white kid, dude. They they they, they pushed him on the thing, and that chick left him alone. I know. Yeah, that that's. That's the type of shit. But here's the thing. You can't take that and say all cop throw all cops out. No, you, can't of take not. That. you have to take those two cops and just school them and teach them. So the next time they run into that situation, they know what the fuck to do. They know, look, everybody gets handcuffed until we work this out. That's it. It isn't. You know what I mean? That So you can't. I mean, you you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Like, you can't, yeah, yeah. It, you can't it, throw it, these cops out. You can't tell them to go fuck themselves because they made a mistake. Yeah. No. A, I mean, a lot of the protests are more, how come they were treated differently? Not why did they handcuff the black kid? It's how come they treated them differently? So they, yeah. they have a valid a valid point in their protesting. Oh, fuck yeah. That, I mean, now well, that you watch the whole video, it's like, oh, man. Wait, wait, how, how, how come they treated your two kids differently? Yeah, if they had handcuffed them both, that would have been fine. That's what they should have done. They should have handcuffed them. That 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 chick. It all comes down to women are stupid. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Well, you know, my friend who I I grew up in high school with, who I hung out with, she became a cop. I mean, that broad fucked it up. Come on. <laughs> this girl I went to school with, who I was friends with, hung out. What part of our crew? She became a cop. And they sent her out and another girl cop together, two yeah. female cops. Yeah. And they went to an incident. I hope this ends with scissoring. And they 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 went to an incident yeah. and the assailant grabbed one of the cops guns and, and killed not my friend, her partner. I mean it was a big thing in Plainfield. Yeah. You know? And and they you know, people were going, Well, why would you send two women out together to patrol, you know? And this is back in the seventies, maybe early eighties. Agni and Lacey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, dude. That that girl cop. I don't know why <laughs> she fucked up. She, yeah, it's her fault. That it, guy cop grabbed his person, right, and detained him. And she should have been doing the same fucking thing to that other guy, and she didn't. She was. If you go go back to that, well, video, what, what, she she didn't was, do, what she didn't do makes him look bad. What she she should have fucking grabbed that guy, turn around, get on your knees, hands behind your head, and put the cuffs on him. And she didn't. She sat him on the couch. And you're right. He got up aggressive, like he was going to do something. He could have done something to to that. He, oh, what an idiot! <laughs> fucking idiot! Look at this. Watch this. Well, you got to go back. Ryan, get look at this kid running, pussy. All right, so, yeah. All right, he's not fighting. You know, the kid put his hands behind his back. Well, yeah, I don't know why she needed. It. Watch him get up. Oh no! He's thinking about running right there. He's yep. thinking about taking off. Yo, it's See, he's, black. he's thinking. He's thinking. What an asshole! Who ever said? What an asshole! The black, the black kid put his hands behind his back to get handcuffed. Yeah, he should be handcuffed right now. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. But she's only 4'2". Look at the size. He's sitting down. They're almost the same size. Stupid. Stupid. Well, this is a dumb move. And now it's all now every now cops are racist. It's like, listen, man, I guarantee that the <laughs> that's <laughs> Is that the well? That the, which one was the one that got shot? It was they were hot. <laughs> they were hot the first two seasons, and then they were not. <laughs> yeah, they had two seasons of holy shit, dude. Which, which Cagney's to the left, right? No, late Cagney's to the left. Yeah, and Lacey's to the right. Mm-hmm. Dude, I think Cagney's hot. I I don't think either of them are hot. Yeah, Tyne Daly was hot until like the third season, and then she just looked like. 
uh, guy in drag all of a sudden. You look like John Daly. <laughs> <laughs> Who the I lo, I love that haircut. What is that? The the, the bangs. Ah, uh, I always wanted that hair when I was growing up. Like the fucking, I always wanted that. Uh, I'm going bald. Yeah, Another. we know. Who not the the Duke's has is no the uh, uh the Cassidy Sean. It's called, now it's, it's called a shag. Remember Sean Cassidy? Yeah, it was a shag. He had what was shag. that? What was the show they were on? The uh. Something what? Brothers, the um, Hardy Brothers, the what? The Hardy Brothers. The Hardy Brothers they used to solve crimes. Yeah, the Hardy Brothers got me hard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right um, there, right here. Look, can you see? No, we know you're going bald, dude. Yeah, you're sixty-five. Yeah, but right in the front. That's what happens. It's called male pattern baldness. Really. Yeah, dude, What's you gotta get you gotta get a um get a weave like Anthony or get a transplant like Anthony. No, Anthony got plugs. Yeah, he got tra- he got your hair transplants. He didn't get plugs. He got hair transplant. What's the difference? Uh, one, they fucking drill a cigar puncher in your head and just take stuff out. Yeah, look at that, <laughs> dude. I wanted that hair so much. Me too. I had a big afro. And I wanted straight. I went to New York and got my hair cut like that in a shag, and it lasted like fucking three days, and then it just exploded again. Uh-huh. I told oh. you, I had straight hair like that until I don't know. I was ten, and then I was I went can I went on a canoe. My my mom and stepdad rented a, a lake house, and I went oh. on the canoe in the fog by myself. Like in the middle of the lake, nobody could see me, and I jerked off. What? And then, and then I fell in, and then my hair my hair went curly. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, boss! I swear to God, my hair went curly for the rest of my life. I th- I, I thought I remember walking down the street. The sun came out. The fog burnt off, and me and my sister were walking. It was Jero. She goes, "Why is your hair curly?" <laughs> I thought God punished me for jerking off in the canoe. <laughs> I remember I had a job in this uh, wood shop. Yeah. And I was upstairs uh, staining wood. And I and I go, this would be a good time to jerk off. <laughs> Just <laughs> jerked off up in the fucking wood shop. Like. Uh... <laughs> I've jerked off. <laughs> it, I don't like jerking off anymore because I'm too fat. It's just a nightmare to jerk off. What are you doing? I'm trying to find a picture of my hair when I was. It, it's fucking ridiculous. Your curly hair, right? Oh, even before it got real curly, it was like. <laughs> hold on. Go ahead. Tell me about your jerk off story. I. <laughs> well, so you can get hard. I. Uh, I. I. I never. I don't jerk off now as much, but back in the day, I used to try to jerk off in weird places. Where I think I've jerked off in people's houses. While I was over for a visit, oh my fucking god! I love that photo. You look like all the warriors. <laughs> <Don't lie>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Here's, my, here's me going to a disco. Oh my god! Please send that. We send. Oh my god! So you had to here for like a day, and then it rained out. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'll send, send that you. to Mush. Oh my God, send it to Mush. Send it to Mush. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking terrible. Oh, yeah. okay. Here's the last other one. I'll send you. Wait, I'll send. I spoke this one. This one's fucking great. Is that you, Mush, or is Hold that on. me? It's it's Voss. Oh, you see, his internet's cutting out a little. Yeah. All right. I sent you two good ones. Um. So, anyways, I'm a little nervous. Pause. All right. I'm nervous about what uh, there's going to be World War Three. Yeah. Is that really what you're talking about? Yeah. No. Seriously. I mean, I'm going tomorrow. I'm. Uh, oh well. I really can't talk about. It. It's not evergreen. <laughs> What's that? I'm just nervous that Russia's gonna 
you know, because Paul and, and, and before anybody comments on this podcast, dude, shut the fuck up. You two are stupid. Shut up. Go fuck. No, I don't care anymore. I'm talking about what I want to talk about. And I don't care if it doesn't make sense. Um, Poland is going to give the Ukraine, the Ukraine, you, you, they need Russian fighter jets because they don't know how to use ours. So we can't give them fighter jets, but they oh, need fighter the Ukraine fighter jets. The Ukraine, they need like Meg, Meg MIGs. They need those MIG 20, whatever the fuck they are, right? So Poland has them, and they're like, we'll give you these fighter jets, but we need fighter jets too because if Russia is invading you, they're probably going to come for us. And if we gave all our jets to you, now we're fucked. So the U.S. is like, well, we'll back you up with our fighter jets. We'll give Poland, you give them your jets, and we will replenish you with our jets. Well, then why can't we just give Ukraine jets? If we do that, then we're actually where Russia will uh, see that as a uh, war. Act of war. Act of war with us, yeah. Right. Well, I mean, all right, so we give it to somebody and then they give it. Yeah, but I know to me, it's still a fucking act of war. You know, I mean, I mean, how Ukraine is a big country. Oh, my God. It's my dog next to me. I love that dog. It was half shepherd and Bernard doing eating. Wow. It was a pu that was a puppy. Oh, half shepherd, half and Bernard. Who was that your car on the background? That fucking Starsky and Hutch shit box? No, I didn't have a car yet. I, I just but, uh I'm so glad I didn't know you back oh when you <laughs> you were you were on the TV show The White Shadow as Salami. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you knew me, you would have ate me. <laughs> Salami? <laughs> is, that a, is that a character? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> fucking Voss. Dude, you couldn't straighten that Jufro if you fucking paid 17 agents. I had it fucking blow-dried and straightened, and it looked like David Cassidy. Oh, look at that. A week. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fucking rug, man. <laughs> wow, what a shirt. Did that shirt was that shirt sleeveless or did you make it sleeveless? I don't know. It was checkers. You know, that's when like checkers were in style. Like, you know, like yeah. Devo, Devo <laughs> and Romantics and you know, Rockabilly and shit. Uh I probably cut the sleeves off it. Probably. You have fucking been Jersey trash forever. <laughs> this salami right there. <laughs> so uh, what? He had nice hair. Look at that hair. Yeah, it's all fucking foofy like your hair. <laughs> um. So they'll go into Poland. Uh, you know. <sighs> It, isn't Ukraine a big country? I mean, they had to have been planning for this forever, knowing Russia at some Russia, point. Russia is the third biggest military. Yeah. Who's Ukraine. first? Us and China? Uh, yeah, I believe. Uh, maybe China. I don't know. I would think it's us and then China, yes. But China's, China's big. And Russia's big. I mean, dude, you can't. You're fighting, you know. It's a Russia is a bigger country, and and the, and the, it's all under the who is it? United States, Russia, China, then India. Yeah, India's a billion people. Wow! But the <clears throat> you know it's fucked up because it's fucking up their money too. All the all the sanctions they took away his judo like. Uh, the his judo ranking. They were like, "You're you're not in." The, he was in like a judo club, and he's he's gone because he's pretty. Supposedly, Putin's Putin's a really intelligent, smart motherfucker, and he's a badass. And he made it so that he's president forever. He did the same thing that China did, where it's like, "There's no more elections. I'm here until I die." They made that happen. That's yeah. crazy. 
I know who else wanted to make that happen. Who? <laughs> uh, fucking our last president would have loved to do that. Trump? Yeah. Yeah, you hate Trump, right? I don't hate, I don't like either administration. It's the last one or the new one. Uh, I think this country, what it needs is somebody fucking young with a vision that's not some old fucking, you know, that these guys don't give a fuck about anybody. You think they do, but they you don't. You said do. young people are stupid. Not that young. I'm not saying a 21 year old president. I don't. That's what they should do. They should get like a 22 year old who didn't go to college to be president and just see what he does. <laughs> they should. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, I, I think they're just all phonies, man. They're just all fucking phonies. Yeah, but dude, it's fucking weird. Like, okay, so we had the Keystone Pipeline that was going to get oil from Canada. Yes. We we were, uh, you know, we did not, we were, we got our own oil. We got our own energy. We didn't need anybody during Trump. And then Biden fucking ix, ixnayed the Keystone. Yeah. We're buying oil from Russia. That's why it went to $4 a gallon today. We're buying oil from Russia. So, not so why don't we just buy it from Canada? Because they fucking said no. And and, I mean, and and here's the thing. um, So we're technically paying for the bullets and all the shit that are killing the people in Ukraine. We're part of it. But wait a second. If Canada was going to let us take their oil through a pipeline, why wouldn't they just sell it to us through trucks and barrels? I don't know the details. I think it has to do with, you know, it not being uh, green, you know, uh, it not being the right thing. It's like fracking. We could frack, but if fracking fucking kills the environment and fucks up the water table and all the shit, it's like, you know, nu back in the day, nuclear power, well, it's dangerous. It's like, go fuck, dude, fuck you. It's either this or go to war with fucking Russia. What would you rather do? What would you rather do? Have water that you can light on fire in a couple states? <laughs> people that we don't care about anyways? Or <laughs> or walk around with with another head on your shoulder. Yeah. Walk around like Red Dawn. I'm going to see fucking Chinese and Russians parachuting into my backyard, into my Intex fucking pool this summer. <laughs> Fuck is that, dude? If they fucking land on my shed that took forever to build, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> Dude, do you understand what a nightmare that would be if if all of a sudden you look up and there's just a bunch of Russian and Chinese people parachuting in with it with guns and tire and we're just done. I mean, I have a big backyard. It would be a good landing zone. A helicopter <laughs> lands in my backyard yeah. and I'm I'm sitting there with a crossbow <laughs> and my <laughs> and a dumb AR. That only has six rounds at a time. Yeah, I know. dude, I am fucking. I am going down to Florida. If <laughs> shit goes down, I'm going to New Hampshire. I'm I'm fucking attaching my tiny home to the back of my Ford Ranger, and I'm going down. I'm grabbing a bunch of guns. I'm going down to hang. I'm going to live with Calta. Wait, can you put wheels on your tiny home? Yeah. No. Yeah. Is it on wheels now? Uh, they took the wheels off. They put it up on. Uh, oh, on, that's on my dream. What? That's my fucking dream. Well, you just Did put them back on like a car. Oh. Well, you want to? You don't want a tiny home. You want an RV, dude. An R or if, just, I get you an, if I buy you an RV, right? Will you trade the watch for the RV? <laughs> You're gonna send me this jalopy. <laughs> nah, I'll get you a. I'll get you a, a same value, like fifteen is, is between fifteen and eighteen thousand dollar RV. Do you understand how shitty that would be? You know, no, I have a friend. I have a friend who's an RV dealer, who has an RV YouTube show that I made friends with. That I was going to get an RV for like, I think it was like eighteen five. I don't want a big eight, one. Yeah, I, I know what like, you want. You want a class C. I know exactly I what you want. Like a conversion van almost. You want a class C. <laughs> I know what you want, and I'll get it for you if you give me that watch. I don't like your happy Gerber baby face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Just sitting there smiling all happy. Shut up. We're going to get attacked. It doesn't matter. Your yeah. fucking tiny home, a missile's going to land on it as you're driving down the fucking 95. I was sitting there tonight, and I'm, you know, in Poland, they're just taking people, Ukrainians, in and bringing them into the house, their homes because there's no shelter. There's nothing set up for them. So they're bringing thousands of these people just and saying, you live with us now. That would, you, that, that would never yeah. happen here. <laughs> Do you What's think that? You, that would never happen here? If if, uh, if just hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians landed in Brooklyn, do you think those fucking trendy cocksuckers who defunded the police be like, no, <laughs> yeah, bring your grandmother with a mole the size of a fucking meatball into my living room. <laughs> <laughs> well, bring that that yammering baby that only eats fucking uh, raw meat and cauliflower. <laughs> All yeah, right, come on in. Yeah. Bring, bring that big guy with a beard that <laughs> that yeah. plays fiddle all night long. Yeah, bring your aunt in. Yeah, let her. Well, yeah, the one with the big hands. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're, you're, laid, you're laid in bed and, and, and there's another husband and wife. Yeah. You wake up and your cat's dead. It's just in a pot. <laughs> what? We make stool. We hungry. We make grandma's stool. It's called meow meow. <laughs> you, your, your furniture's in the fireplace. They started, they started a fire in the living room. <laughs> they cut your fucking yeah. your, your fucking Pollock painting and they cut it for firewood. Yeah, they replaced your almond milk with breast milk. <laughs> uh, you, see, you, see, you see the mom wearing your kid's shoes. Uh, <laughs> you know this fucking MSNBC. They're the fucking worst anti-Israel. All these fucking Israel took in ninety-two percent of the Ukrainians that came to them, right? And, and their fucking headline is Israel won't take eight percent of Ukrainians. That they're taking in ninety-two percent. Any Jew from Ukraine, where there's over a hundred thousand automatically mm -hmm. come into Israel. Right. Israel's the size of New Jersey. And and MSNBC, Israel says no to 8% or whatever. Shut the fuck up, all right? Yeah, let's see how many are coming into America, you know. Uh, I just said that. I made that point. <laughs> uh, they're trying to, you know, point. <laughs> Israel's trying to set up peace talks with fucking... Look, Ukraine, look, none of these fucking rich cocksuckers on TV and all those people on those shows yes. have a lot of money. None of those newscasters, CNN, anybody would take any of these people into their homes. And yes. they probably have multiple homes. Now, I was sitting in the living room like, fuck. <sighs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm not letting Ukraine family live in my tiny home. You know what I mean? Like. Like if they're like, if you have a second home, you have to let them. I'm like, nah. You know, <laughs> I will take in. I come back two years later when they go back home after we win the war. My house smells like mustard and fucking fire. <laughs> See, I, I just certain. I would take. I would take in. Uh... Would you take? Would you if if they were like, look, we need to help these people and everybody everybody has to take a family in would you take a family in yeah i would take uh uh if they had not a husband and wife without kids they would have to have like one or two kids you know what i mean oh, i would want that i want a a, a, hus a young husband and wife maybe we could swing oh i i mean listen i let me get to that Okay. <laughs> Taking a fucking screaming Ukrainian kid in my house. No, you you got to it's the kids you got to look out for. You know, I would uh I would let them live in the shed. They could have the shed. I would build I I mean, I don't you know. have to leave an hour a day so I could do my podcast on Mondays and Fridays. Yeah, they, well, they'll 
be out. You hey, know. I, I'd come in, Psst, guys. Hey, Psst. Myrta. <laughs> Myrta. Psst. I got to do my show. I got to do Calter and Kelly. You're going to have to get get him up. Get that lug head up. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, I guess. I would, let, I would let people live in my house. I would. I mean, you know. You I know, mean, wouldn't rich people. Rich people don't do that. Rich people rich people don't do shit. They send money. They throw money at it. Yeah, that's their, they throw their, a check at it and they write it off. No, I gave, I gave, I gave, I gave twenty thousand dollars to the re- Ukrainian effort. Yeah. Oh, really? Did you? You bought fucking Rice Krispies treats and fucking oatmeal? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fucking, you know, fucking two guys in this country, fucking. Uh, Elon Musk and who's the and Bezo? Be- is it Bezo? Be- Bezo, whatever the fuck his name is. I'm sure it's Bezo. Is it Bezo? Those two could fund. What is it? <laughs> those, those two alone could fund the Ukrainian. That fucking made me dumb. I hate when Voss makes you dumb. It's you know Bezo. What? It's Bezo. Bezo. Yes, I knew. I knew it, but he makes you dumb because he goes Bezo. I'm talking about a different guy. I'm not talking about Bezo. You're a you're bozo. You're a bozo. How's that? Listen to me, Homo. What I'm saying is, yeah. those two <laughs> have enough money to fund the whole Ukrainian army. Yeah, but they can't because if they do, then we go to war. But I believe Elon did something with the internet. With uh, oh, he did. Yeah. What did he do? No. Uh, yeah, they did something. With his for cut me off in the middle while I was explaining it, you went. They did. What did they do? You know what he did? Yes. What? They didn't have internet, and he actually put internet over. They 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 cut off the internet, and he actually made it so there was internet over Ukraine, so people could use their phones and and email and stuff like that. It was satellite. Yes, sat through a satellite. Yes, Starlink satellite. Starlink satellite. Thank you for him. Mush, was I right on that? Yes. Oh, because I made that whole thing up. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to call me on it. I no. <laughs> no, I know he did. I read the I, I read the headlines in the first two paragraphs usually. Yeah, uh, it's it's. I don't want to, dude. It sucks. It sucks. Here you go. Here you go. What do you do? And people hate him for it too. Why? Because they don't like Elon. Because he's Tony Stark. He's cocky. He's a billionaire. He's doing all bunch of shit. And they hate him. They don't like him. Isn't it crazy that fucking Rogan had him on his podcast? Um, no, he's a pretty down to earth guy. No, I mean he's I he's the richest person in the world, practically. Is he, no, he's not the richest. He's up there. Uh, I believe a Chinese guy is the richest. Am I right, most the richest guy in the world? Is he the? Is it? Well, there's a lot of oligarchs in Russia too. That's the one thing that's that could that could really fuck things up because all those oligarchs in Russia are fucking losing money, and when you start taking money from those guys, they might just assassinate Putin. Assassinate? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. This whole thing is fucking Russia financially. They're snatching up their yachts. Oh yeah, they took the yacht. They're doing some crazy shit to these oligarchs, and they don't like it. And you know they want to just keep fucking being gazillionaires, and this war is fucking with them. And it's it's who is it? Here we go. Oh, it's Bezo or Buzo or Bozo, yeah. the way you say it. <laughs> um, uh, Musk number one currently. Who is Musk? Where's Musk? Where is I can't see it. Where is it? Right here. Oh, okay. Oh, Musk is number one. No shit. Okay. So and then Bezo and then who is that? Uh, That's weird. Bernard on the Alton family. I don't. I don't know who they you know are. What's funny? How they say Jews run the world. Look at the top ten. I think there's one Jew in there. Fucking Zuckerberg. Dude, Bill Gates is a Jew. No, he isn't. Jeff Bezos a Jew? No, he isn't. <laughs> Elon Musk's a fucking Jew. Oh, I wish. Who's Larry Ellison? Elfson. What is his name? Uh, Larry Ellison. Let me find out. I don't even know these fucking people. Who's the, uh, who's the 
Who's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Who's number seven? Can you Sergey zoom in? Brin? He's got to be. He's a fucking oligarch, right? I bet. Let me find out. Yeah. Warren Buffett is a hundred. He's 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 ten. He's not even. Wow, that's weird. How come it's so small? I can't see it. Gina, I believe the one of these ladies. Wow. Oh, top ten women. Oh, maybe I'm right. China. Look at this. Top ten in China. Sixty six billion. Man. How much is a billion? A thousand million? Is a yeah. billion? Correct. A thousand million is a, a I would billion. give it I would give a thousand billion to have you die right now. <laughs> That's see, I, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. But what I'm saying is a thousand million, like you have a million dollars a thousand times. Oh. Uh, Larry Page and Sergey Brin co founded Google. Oh, no shit. Okay. There you go. Brin, bro. Is uh, Mike, where's Michael Dell? He's not in there. Not the top 10. Who's Steve? Who's Steve Belmer? Belmer. Is he Apple? He's got to be Apple, right? Something. There's no Apple. There's nobody in Apple in this. Can you scroll um, up a little mush? Oh, there you go. I got him. No Apple, huh? That's uh Balmer is the guy in charge of Microsoft right now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's Microsoft. Yeah. Or he's an investor from in Microsoft. There's right? no Apple in the top 10. Can you believe that? Yeah. And everybody has a fucking iPhone. How does that happen? Corporation, man. Wow. Look at these broads. Which one of these girls would you hook up with? <laughs> Every uh, single one of them. Every cook. single one of them. Um, yeah, true. Would, huh? <laughs> yeah, why would you say no to any of that? <laughs> Wait, how come none of the Waltons are in there that own Walmart? They're not over 100. Dude, I would not hook up with Yang. She looks so mad. She looks like she'd make you do weird, kinky shit in the bedroom. Oh, look at the fourth one from the left. Well, Julia? yeah. Oh, Julie? Julia? Julie's hot. See it. Julie's hot, and I would take Gina at the end too. Twenty-two, that little chubby, chubby <laughs> one. I like her. She looks like she'd be a lot of fun. Which one are you talking about? The one, the one at the end, Gina Reinhardt, the tenth. First of all, the mm -hmm. one on the all the way to the right. Yeah, you know what I mean, she looks like Nurse Ratchet. Yeah, no, she looks like she'd be a fun <laughs> little roly poly chick. We could have she looks like ball breaker from Borky's. <laughs> I would take the one from look who I oh this is who I would take. They wouldn't even talk to me. <laughs> oh, this is the first one looks very pretty, but I can't I don't she looks young too. She's nice. Uh what about Alice Walton? Oh, there is a Walton in it? Yeah, oh, yeah there she is. That's right. Where oh the number two lady. Yeah. F fucking Walmart. I would bang her just to try to get some of my money back. <laughs> For your shitty sweatpants and shirts, your your Russell Bland, brand sweatpants. <laughs> Look at the fourth one. What is she? The fourth do? one. She's hot. She's from the Cook family. Cook. What do you mean, Cook? You don't know the, the well, Coke brothers. Like oh, Coke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coke. Yeah. Mackenzie Scott is kind of cute too. No. I think so. Yeah. Look at on China the fourth one in Jack Ma. He's kind of hot. Would uh, <laughs> for five for for five million dollars? Would you? It looks like a Chinese you, Frankenstein. <laughs> for five million, would you blow one of the top ten? What one you would you blow for five million? Uh, on the top ten, American or Chinese men, men? I'd blow all the Chinese guys because that wouldn't even be a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> it would. It'd be like blowing up a. It'd be like blowing up a raft. I wouldn't want to blow Warren <laughs> Buffett because that would just take so long just yeah. to get this old pud going. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg, he'd get he'd come too quick. It wouldn't be enjoyable. Uh, Steve, no, Ballmer, Steve Ballmer, you know, he's got a fucking huge, just that huge white guy helmet. For $2 million, would you blow one of them and let it videotape and put it online? I would blow. I I think I. 
Yeah, I blow Larry Elson. He looks like a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy who invented the Oracle platform. Yeah, I'd blow him and Larry Page. And I, and Sergey, I like Sergey. He looks he looks like he'd fucking you know, he'd take me out to his cabin somewhere. I would I would blow Elon Musk in a spaceship as we floated uh, around. I would never want his European weird dick, whatever. <laughs> whatever he's compensating for, I would not want that around my mouth. Who Elon? Yeah, his I I used to suck my friends off penis. <laughs> some of his smart friends in that fucking rich school they went to and when they were like 13, 14, and 15. <laughs> what do you guys want to do tonight? I don't know. You want to play want to play the game suck each other off? <laughs> Who's the biggest sucker in the room? Uh all right, listen, we gotta go to overtime right now. Um, I want to thank all the, the regular YKWD listeners, Rich Voss, richvoss.com, richvoss, uh, roast.com. Uh, right. My, my special's coming out. They're announcing it at South by Southwest on a new network called Wits, W I T Z. Uh, it's going to be streaming on a bunch of different platforms. W it's, it's going to be a big network. They're going to put up, you know, uh, our roast, our our movie, my special. Uh, I think that's great. It's just wits. Well, it's named after Kimowitz that was murdered. That used to be. Oh, one of oh sorry. Oh, I had to make it real. I, I thought it was named after something you were lacking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that was pretty good. That's uh, pretty good, dude. No, that's awesome. You're gonna. He's, he's he has a special Voss. This is what bothers me about Voss, and I want to talk to him about this. We're going to talk to about this on Patreon, patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Uh, if you want to continue with us, uh, we go over to there right now on patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. I want to talk to Voss. He has no special. No, He has all these albums, not one hour special. Yes, I have one that I did. It's not a special. I, I taped an hour, and, and Mike cut it up into... We've been putting that up. It does, it's nowhere to be found. You can't watch an hour special. You can watch my hour on Amazon. It was on Netflix. It was on Comedy Central. You can't. It, it, we're going to be talking about his new hour that he has that's coming out. It's going to be on Wits. Uh, and it's it's finally, you'll be able to see Voss do his stand-up and do a headline spot. Uh, we'll be talking about that on Overtime. Uh, we'll be taking questions. Uh from you guys and um also uh i want to thank you guys so subscribe right now subscribe if you're watching on youtube i hope you like the episode uh if you liked it thumbs up leave a comment subscribe tell a friend hit the reminder do all the little buttons this episode is always free it comes out on sunday monday morning sometimes uh, and YKWD fans, you're the best. Go to robertkellylive.com for all my dates. I'm shooting my special in Tampa in April. Uh, I am very excited about that. Uh, we're picking the venue uh, this week. So as soon as I get the information, it'll be on my website, and I'll be making announcement after announcement after announcement. So you guys, I have people flying down from New York and Boston to come see it. Uh, I, I would love it if you guys did that. And make sure you check out me, Ari Shafir, and, and Jay Okerson at Fort uh, Wayne. Uh, we're going to be in Grand Rapids. And then Detroit, we got a three. We just added a second show on the first night there in Fort Wayne. So get your tickets now for the second show. Uh, and the other shows are out there. Uh, and I got a great show with me and this guy, uh, the legend, Rich Voss, and the Rattlesnake, uh, Mr. Louis J. Gomez at Niagara Falls Bears Den showroom. That is Friday the 15th and 16th of April. That hey. show is going to be awesome. Uh, Friday, Saturday at the Bears Den at the uh, C, C, what are the, the, what's it called again? The uh, C, 
Seneca. There you go. Seneca Casino. Anyways, go there. Voss. Go to Voss, richvoss.com. Oh, yeah, comicwearables.com. You get all the stuff up there, YKWD. You guys want a hat. You want a hoodie. You want a beanie. You want um, uh, some Pancake Sunday stuff. It's all up there. Comicwearables.com. Use code word ladybugs. Get 20% off all my stuff. Uh, check out Mike V. Suarez, of course. He's touring all over. Uh, make sure you check him out with Dan Soda at, I believe that's, where is that at? That's going to be at Side Splitters at the end of May. And this week I'll be with Big J Elkerson uh, in Houston and Giannis Papas at the end of the month in San Antonio. And Voss, where are you playing this week, this month? Well, this weekend I'm in New York. And then Sunday I do South by Southwest where we had, they're announcing the special and we're going to do Would You Bang Them and film that. At South by Southwest, and I got in. Uh, I got coming up uh, Rhode Island. I got. Uh, I don't know. I got. Uh, I'll you tell get you the real. Comedy Zone in Harrisburg, the 18th and 19th, and yeah. the Laugh In in Fort Myers, the 31st. With well, that's the show with Bobby. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Fort Myers. I got Rhode Island. Uh, I got uh, Harrisburg. I don't know. Check them out. Go to richvoss.com. And uh, you guys are the best fans in the world. We'll see you next week. You know what, dude? Stick around. It's not over yet. This episode of YKWD is continuing now exclusively on patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. See you there. Contact Kyla Gunter at Gunter Law Group for free 30-minute a free 30-minute consultation to discuss your options go to the gunterlawgroup.com email kyla directly at kyla k-y-l-a at gunterlawgroup.com or call her at 682-224-1967 to set up your consultation today and if you mention ykwd they'll knock 25 percent off of the fee this is legal advertisement is not intended to be specific legal advice so there you go been listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.